Hey there, engineers. Uh, thanks for coming in and watching this information video that we have here for you today on uh, IEEE UCF and what our organization is all about. Uh, basically, I'm just going to run through everything that we've done this year and our future plans and how that you and how you can get involved in this next year and in the last month here as well. So basically, we want to start off with what we are. So IEEE stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Uh, this is the largest technical society on the planet. Uh, it, the main focus of it is in electrical and computer engineering, but I wanted to definitely emphasize that we are open and constantly expanding to be a multidiscipline disciplinary organization. Uh, a lot of the projects we're doing are include mechanical, industrial, civil, you name it. We have projects projects for you, uh, and then our workshops that are based on electronics could be still very helpful for you. Uh, especially if you're trying to become, uh, if you have, if you want to have varied skills in the workforce. So we offer a lot of technical skills and proficiency in that manner. Uh, we're a family of over 250 active members currently, and we're constantly growing that. Uh, we are able to offer you guys a lot of innovative opportunity, uh, professionalism, philanthropic opportunities. And in the end of the day, we're here to serve you guys. And we want you guys to be an integral part of what we do. Uh, some more just general background knowledge. So we basically fall under uh, four different jurisdictions. IEEE USA basically encompasses uh, all of the United States. Then we have IEEE Region 3, which is down here, and then the Orlando section. And then there's us at the University of Central Florida. And as you can see down here, some quick facts about how expansive IEEE is. And that, uh, again, we, we touch many different parts of the world. And uh, there's a very big national and professional branch of IEEE as well. So quickly, I want to go over some of the leadership here. Uh, there's myself. I guess I didn't introduce myself. My name's Alex. I'm the president for IEEE. Uh, these are some of my executive members. Uh, my, my VP, Juan, our marketing director and secretary, Muhammad, uh, our treasurer, Ashley, uh, Shauna, and then uh, our events coordinator, Lance, here. And then we also have uh, various uh, chairs for our boards like our project chair, pro dev chair, and service chair, as well as a webmaster and a software director. So we're doing a little bit of an overhaul in these positions uh, through this next year. And we have more positions as well that aren't solely officers. So if you're looking to get involved, uh, join our Discord and, and make sure that you're like up to date and following us and we'll be releasing forms on how to get into some of these leadership positions. And again, it's a great way to kind of build yourself up through, uh, through IEEE and uh, be able to have an impact on what we do. So I wanted to give you guys some of the stuff that we offer. Uh, one of the big thing that we've done this year is we've still done in-person events, uh, but we've just, we've made precautions for them and we've done workshops in person that have been, uh, that, I mean, they've been very successful. Uh, no one has gotten sick from them and we've been able to bring people these really cool technical experiences. So our first one that was kind of our biggest one uh, was our solar charger workshop. This included 50 members coming out to build their very own solar charger and then take it home with them. Uh, basically, you can see right here inside the box, it uh, basically uses batteries and solar panels to charge your cell phone. Uh, and we had like a lot of people come out and really enjoy this. And uh, again, we did this at Lake Claire. We had eight soldering stations out there, disinfected them all throughout the day and made sure that everyone was safe and still able to have a good experience. So one of the other ones we did, we had a uh, embedded systems workshop with Texas Instruments. Uh, you can see down here, we had an MSP 430 and a custom made IEEE PCB we, we designed. And then we had this little circuit here that would basically flash the LEDs and work with uh, shifting to get the LCD display to work uh, with the push buttons as well. And uh, yeah, this is another one that we were able to do in person while still maintaining social distance and keeping everybody safe and having everybody be able to learn a little bit about these processes. Most recently, we had our e-week workshop in which we were doing power supplies for everybody. So this is another one that people got to come out and take home a really cool designed product that we made. Uh, this one was courtesy of our software director, Lucas. And uh, it was another big success. We had uh, this over one day on uh, a few Fridays ago uh, where 24 people were able to come out and build these basically gets you like a variable voltage for whatever project you're doing at home. Uh, again, another great experience for whatever discipline you come from. And 
Uh, we're planning to do a lot more of these next year and also expand the number of people we can have as well. And uh, we're trying to build out this infrastructure that we can get as many of you guys involved as you uh, that are interested. So, oh, and there's me, the little dog and the uh, power supply. <laughs> Another thing that we did as well, we had a SWE TI programming uh, workshop in which we were working through some of the basics of Python with a TI engineer. Uh, this is another really good way that we were able to collab with another organization and do virtual workshops as well. Uh, so we're going to try to continue doing a mixed mode of that into the next year as well. Something that we're also planning to do next year is a do-it-yourself uh, multimeter. We're probably going to try to simulate the same wood design that we've used on other workshops, but this will basically be a way to measure voltage, resistance, and current through devices. And that's another really cool one that we're going to try to do. Uh, so our big thing as well is we focus a lot on projects. Uh, we have some pretty interesting ones that we've been doing. Uh, this is one of them, the our disinfection robot that we're going to be donating to UCF Health Services. Uh, basically what this uses is the mechanics that UVC light is able to deactivate uh, various pathogens. Uh, in particular, we are referring to uh, the coronavirus pathogen. And basically, we're designing a robot that can be put into a room. It will navigate on its own that room through a mapping software we're designing, and then utilize the UV rays to basically disinfect the whole room, keeping our healthcare workers safe and being able to keep future people that enter the room safe. and doing it in a way that doesn't really affect, that, that won't hurt anybody for having to uh, be in close contact with stuff like that. Uh, so this is one of our really big ones we're doing this semester and into next fall. Uh, our next project that we are ramping up for and getting the design and team in place for right now, and that we are going to be actively building out the team in the coming weeks is our Super State Racer electric go kart. So, Basically, this is going to be taking place from fall of next semester to spring of two years from now. And we're going to be designing a dual electric hybrid vehicle that's going to be utilizing a mixture of supercapacitors, which you can see here, and solid state batteries in order to basically have very quick acceleration with supercapacitors and then alter the energy source from the capacitors to a solid state battery once you reach a more nominal speed. Uh, we have a lot of need for electrical, uh, mechanical software people for this project. It's our most ambitious thing we've taken on. And really, anybody that's interested and has the skill set, I really recommend you apply to this team. Uh, we'll be releasing a form for this in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. We'll be sending out an email to the entire CECS college on this as well. Uh, we're also looking for a so a few IEs as well to help lead this process as well. So some more of the projects we have going on, we've been doing our long-term robotic arm project, in which we've been able to get uh, members involved on a pretty uh, rudimentary effort that we've been working with to continually improve this project that we've had going on for the last few years. That's basically a robotic arm that's designed to uh, pick up objects. We're trying to make it do some cool things for the next year now that we've built up the infrastructure for it, uh, possibly going to make it play games of Pong. Uh, we have a lot of direction we want to go for this, and this is a really good entry-level project to be on. Uh, another good entry-level one that we're working on right now is our LED sculpture. Uh, we're making some pretty good progress on the, on the prototype for this this semester. The prototype is basically going to be an LED cube, that's similar to what is shown down here. And it's, we're working with basically some embedded systems on this, as well as uh, LEDs and photonics. We're working with uh, SOS as well on this, who is the Society of Optical Students. And we're working to basically, in the end of the day, design a Pegasus sculpture that will be displayed in the engineering building that will utilize uh, lasers in order to change colors when somebody uh, waves their hand over them. So if you're interested in this one, definitely also reach out to us on that. Uh, really, if you're interested on any of these or have other ideas, please reach out to us. We're always looking for new ideas and new people to bring onto the team. So uh, our project that we're calling the Rivers of Opportunity effort is uh, basically a summer project that we'll be doing over the next two years and that we're currently in the planning phases of and getting everything ramped up for the summer. Basically, what we're trying to do is create uh, 
a system that has that utilizes aerators and water filtration uh, that are going to be solar powered in order to have a self-sustained water system that can be uh, extrapolated to communities in Honduras so that they can have clean filtered water that then the system where that filtered water is is then constantly cleaned and we're giving the people a very uh, sufficient and non -ex inexpensive manner to have uh, their communities be able to have clean drinking water. So if you're interested in this, uh, the research aspects, the civil, the mechanical, the electrical side, the energy side, uh, please reach out to Kaylin on this. This is one of our uh, big ones that we'll be doing in the next two years as well. And we plan to, in the next summer, go to Honduras and actually construct the project that we're gonna be building in Orlando for this year. Another project we're working on is our engineering for the visually impaired research effort. We are looking to design and find cheaper alternatives to the various devices that our visually impaired community utilizes to interface with us. So this includes braille printers, braille keyboards, uh, braille devices that can communicate uh, with cell phones and we're basically trying to do research and to find cheaper alternatives as this is a market that is uh, pretty undersaturated and very expensive so we're trying to find ways that we can open source technology to uh, make opportunities more accessible to everybody another thing that we're planning to do next year is develop an ieee app uh, this is something that we are looking to do under our webmaster if you're interested in this one uh, we'll be giving more information on it a bit in the future, as, and it's uh, going to be pretty imperative as we keep expanding what IEEE is into the next year. Additionally, one that we're also uh, looking at for the future is doing a do-it-yourself 3D printer, which this will be a pretty small team, but basically uh, the idea is to design a 3D printer that 3D pr that is uh, that utilizes parts that are 3D printed for the design and basically make it a self-sustained process in that uh, there's not too much portions of it and materials for it that are going to be expensive or that are gonna be detrimental to the environment. Uh, so that's something that we're considering for the next year. And additionally, we also want to up our academic papers in the coming years. So with the projects we're doing, we're planning to publish some papers on them. And we also want to help you guys. If you have an effort that you are that you either want to do research in, if you have a project you want to do research in, we are a good avenue for you guys to be able to route yourselves through IEEE and get your papers published, go to conferences, so forth. All right, so some of the digital content we do, uh, we have our podcast called The Night's Open Circuit. Basically, uh, what we do here is we interview members of the uh, UCF uh, professors, the UCF uh, RSO members, anybody that has cool projects they're working on at UCF. Uh, we've interviewed a bunch of different companies, uh, the members from them. We've uh, interviewed members from NASA, uh, L3 Harris, Northrop Grumman, the Federal Reserve, uh, NEI, which is the company that I work for out in Colorado, and Collins Aerospace. And uh, here are our hosts, Brian and Fernando. And... Uh, again, this is a really cool thing that we've done this year to try to keep con connecting to our members. Uh, we plan to do some more of these in person next year. So again, stay tuned to that. Check these out on YouTube if you guys are interested or on Spotify or whatever. Uh, additionally, again, our, our YouTube channel, we've been building out some tutorials for you guys and we're going to continue to put uh, workshops on there and we put all of our GBMs on there as well if you're interested in trying to see more of what we're what we accomplish here at IEEE. All right, so some pro dev that we do. Uh, we had TI resume maker critiques this last uh, at, at our first GBM this year. We've also done resume maker critiques this last semester and we're planning to kind of build this out even further that we'll have events for them, but you can also ask for resume maker critiques, mock interviews, uh, some assistance with uh, professional online profiles. And we're basically building out a whole board that is going to focus on this section of IEEE. Uh, we also conduct industry panels that uh, this last year we had one that was, had members from Boeing, Intel, and Microsoft, and also TI. Uh, we had a member from there as well. And again, it's a great way to kind of get a good intro into what the future of your career is in the industry. Uh, I got this is a very multifaceted 
panel. We don't only focus on ECEs for this. So if you're interested in stuff like that, definitely try to get involved to get some more info on those. And we're also developing our transient to steady state mentorship program, which is basically, uh, it's supposed to help ECs grow into better ECs. Uh, and this is not only for people of the electrical and computer engineering college. This is open to everybody. If you are trying to get a mentor that is further down the line from you and has more experience in the university, this is a great way for you guys to be able to do that. And uh, again, this is these are some of the best technically savvy engineers, and this is open to anybody that's either interested in mentoring or being mentored. Uh, one thing that we're also planning to do in the fall of next year is do an in-person ideas symposium. Basically, it will be a small conference where we'll be bringing, not really a conference, more of a, uh, an event where we'll be bringing uh, all of our projects and workshops to show off to you guys, and you can see what's going on if you want to get involved with one. Uh, it will also be an opportunity for uh, anyone that's interested to display their research, and we will also be having members from industry showing up to this event in the fall, and it will be a great way for everybody to mingle get to know each other once again after this long pandemic is behind us and be able to grow both professionally and technically from this. Some community service that we do. We've had uh, beach cleanups in the past. We did one at Cocoa Beach in the uh, in January this year. We do these in partnership with Global Engineering Brigade as well as with Keep Orlando Beautiful. So yeah, here's some pictures of it. Really nice. It was a really fun time. Uh, we additionally did one at uh, the Rosemont Community Center. Uh, here's a picture of uh, me and Eli where we uh, brought out a uh, shopping cart from the basically like swampy water at the at this uh, rec, rec center. It was uh, quite the experience, <laughs> but this is a great way for you guys to also get some good uh, nature cleanup experience. We go and we've found a lot of different uh, garbage at this event. so. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you guys to be able to give back and to help uh, restore our environment. We also do some virtual socials as well. As well, uh, We're planning to expand a lot on the in-person ones we do next year uh, with doing like IMs and uh, basically like barbecues and stuff. But we also this year have done some gaming ones. Uh, if you're interested in kind of trying to recommend some games for us to do over the summer or in the last month here, uh, reach out to us on Discord. Uh, everyone, if you if you just say something into like the general chat, people will be willing to play. So uh, it's a great way to kind of get us involved through the virtual aspects of, of this uh, period as well. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I know it's a lot of information, but we do do a lot here at IEEE. I think our organization is best summed up as we're constantly trying to change what being an engineer at UCF is all about. We're constantly pushing the boundaries of what we do and what is possible for us. And we would love for you to be a part of this journey. So if you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to us directly through our email, which is IEEE.UCF at gmail.com. You can reach out to us on our social media or reach out to us on Discord. I really hope we could see some of you guys at some of our future events this next year. And again, we have a lot of amazing opportunities for you, and I look forward to seeing you being a part of them. All right. Thank you.